to compete. Time will tell. Double smoke, double flashbang here for Tabson and Searson. Got bodies close on the mid doors, and I say that for both of these teams. Keto, he tries to hit that first duel, and it's Zaiwu to fall to start off the pistol. Quick trade back. Shox is also damaged, down to only 9 HP. There's that smoke for CT. And Apex gonna challenge the doors with a flash of his own. It's Masuda on this B flat at bat. Trying to tap, can't quite catch it just yet. But speaking of getting caught, there's the flanker dead to right. Tabson gonna trade frag on this B site with a second kill into Apex, and that leaves RPK to clutch. Ooh, have at it. That's not bad. Picks up the first one. That that, that takes it from like impossible to improbable. How does he get into the doorway here? No utility to do such. He's just going to need some crisp headshots. And if the player on plat doesn't overface, he does overface. He loses his head, but luckily Zanteras can take it. He just got into the pit. Comes out, takes down Tabson, and the second. Good damage output here for Vitality. Maybe it was just the guns they needed. Saiwu also connecting the op shot to Zanteras now has him walking wounded. Utility comes back out. What's left of it, that is. Two more Molotovs in the bank for Big. Now they sail forward onto ramp. Apex obviously getting a little bit flustered, but still forcing them to come all the way in. The flashbang on the corner is meant to help out. Masuda over on Goose. Crucial kills for him to take, but Zanteras trades at 20 seconds and that bomb's going down. Oh, Nelly. 3v5. Four big, and they are this close to taking it, but Zaiwu coming up. The pistol connects. Keto off long, completely blind. Of course, it's Zaiwu to make the difference. That makes him a lot less confident about the whole round entirely. So, a key battle there to allow the bomb to go down, and Zaiwu to start off this round hot. Nice shot into Searson. There couldn't be a bigger scalp to take. Oh, and another. Yeah, might not be bigger, but could be better. Tabson and Searson out of this one early. Now Apex just going to be playing next to Scaffold. Going to be set up by Masuda's Flash. Gets one kill before she pops. And there's the second. Keto attempting to trade. Attempting to take down at least one member of Vitality before this second gun round comes to a close. And no. A crisscross of smokes. And a flash down the middle. Shox is also in the middle. Between those two smoke grenades, he takes his duel. That is the AK taken down. So now it's Masuda with a crossfire on Shox. And Shox has just taken all his frags. Masuda says, hey, I want at least one. Vitality now one round in the lead. Score 4-3. Oh, well, he's going to have to hit the good shots. Give us the good stuff on that B site. Zaiwu is starting to sniff out the situation on Cat as well. Shocks. Oh, shoot. Three guys side by side by side ready for him. And he gets himself the two kills. But Zanteras also doubles down. And now Searson, he is nowhere to be found on the play. Shocks had to deliver. And he absolutely does. Doesn't want to get stuck in the open. Misses the first shot, eats a flashbang, lays down smoke. That's him on an op in smoke. Masuda just kind of blind all in the process. Somehow still back there by car, but Shox has regained vision. He got himself just enough time. Laying down the smoke grenade, being swarmed from all directions. And Masuda, I mean, he was trying to help, but he couldn't even rattle a shot off because of the consistency in those flashes. So far, they haven't given that. Well, wow, they're... Vitality picking a- oh, they're going for the flash long push. Holy, Tizian's gonna get destroyed. That is just a beautiful from Vitality. Now they can just readjust, force Vitality either say, hey, you gotta make a move right now, which they do. It's actually a big kill from Tabson. The rotations are already in, now they, they know it's not long control. Who could line him up? Oh, he could line him up and knock them down, gets the double. The sniper and Searson trying to scope back up on him. Tabson now joining. But Masuda, three kills, one magazine. Very nicely done. Leaves Tabson to clutch, and that's not going to happen. Vitality, a seven on this CT side. 
Quick one from Apex. Some Suda tested down by the doors, and ooh, Keto's gonna blast him away with the Deagle. But that flash is what allows Keto to go one better. Now he's got his hands on an M4. Shox plays around the side of the smoke, but Zantares is already out, and Keto finds him. Three kills for Keto. The bomb carrier is able to exit out from tunnels. RPK and Apex have to retake on B. Molly falling onto the bomb planter. Tabston kind of committed to the corner. The M4 has been thrown at him. Then Terrace is going to have to try and hold off on flank, but he dies to RPK. Now Keto's back on the secondary because no M4 needed. He's got himself the fourth kill of the round, looking for the ace, but it's Tabson to close and big to rob a round. Won't be for now, but meanwhile, we've got that smoke being laid down on the bomb site. Shox is able to catch Zantares. Tyru trying to hold off, and Keto, well, he's killed Shox. They've gotten all the closer on long. Zewu's still yet to turn his attention back. Oh my god! If the no-scope had connected in that situation, it would have been ludicrous. Should have never been alive that long. Apex peaks and he dies as well. Denied by Searson. So three survivors here for big. To fight him close up. He's going to see some nades coming across. But they're jumping spawn already. Yeah. Didn't quite work for Tabson. Zewu instead given a duel with a man who has his back turned. And speaking of back turned, big complete redirection. They're going to go out middle with two and Shox is having none of that. It's going to fall onto Masuda behind Carr, and Shox's flash could make the difference. Delays significantly. Big, I mean, they're on the cusp of this bomb site, but so is Vitality. Here is their strength in numbers. Masuda's traded, but it is Vitality to close the first 15 with a one-round edge. 14 kills for Shoxy. I wasn't sure if Big was just going to come in here and stomp out the hopes of Vitality's D2 play, but Searson, are, are you kidding? completely blind and catches the guy in the sky. I would love to see the replay. I'm pretty sure while blinded, he snaps it up. Totally blind. Laps it down. Glocks up. And glocks down. Oh, yes. Another oh. blind kill. Why not? Zanteras. He's good for the first. Versus RPK. It's Apex and Shocks. All that remains. And Keto's going to kill one. The amount of maps that he's been, like, not just good, but, like, the best player. It's kind of startling. Um, Down he goes. Great, a great first half, but, yeah. Uh, Haka had a great video on this, but why people aren't using this as much, the Skylight Flash. Haka has great videos. I gave him a shout-out. I actually did his intro in one of my intros. <laughs> Ooh. I like oh. it. Oh, wow. Intellectual okay. theft. And <laughs> maybe... A little round thievery while we're at it. Team Vitality, uh, that's not supposed to happen big. Okay, can Launders? you do the, can you do the down. sound? Generally flying above you. you know, right, I felt for boring. the sake of realism. That's true. That'd be uh, a distant hawk sound. They move inwards with a man on goose and one on sight. 35 seconds left in this fight. Ramp is now Molly Tizian. Not able to connect with the Deagle just yet. There it is, an eventual frag. But Apex does best Searson. Now Tabson's position's been revealed and Tizian's able to get himself a third. This Deagle getting hotter as it winds up on ramp, but RPK slams him back down. 15 seconds to spare. And off of that fake plant, uh -oh. Santeres gets closer. RPK, he has an inkling, but he's got a dwindling clock. Five seconds left as he comes off at the top of it. Oh, and there's the duel for Zanteras. I don't know if they wanted to go A, but that smoke behind them forced them forward, and it's 12 HP to make the difference. Oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, I just, oh. I'm going to request wow. both of those. Okay. On a replay, please, because the first one, man, it's like he, he saw his pinky. Honestly, Searson is one of the best car players in the game. Like, yeah, I'm, I wouldn't be shocked if a big reason they don't want to fight Cad is because of him on a site. Frag grenade thrown through smoke. 
Ooh, little bit of chip damage. Flashbang gets Searson off his post. Molly goes into the bomb site. He peeks into Ziwu. His 15th frag of the map. 10 seconds left over. Bomb still now just getting up the ramp. Zantara's desperately hopping and hoping to try and stop it, but that does not connect to his favor. So now, he won't be so brazen, but still bold. Peeking into it is everyone for Vitality, and it's Masuda with the double to close it. Two survivors for them as they take their 13th round. Good assessment. Not sure if there's some economic tweaking that could be done there, but log control here for Vitality. Free plan on the A site. And it's one where bigger assuming, of course, it's going to be B because that's where the anti egos have always ended up. Sure. In a world where the counter terrorists have some guns, then those. Oh my god, RPK aces. <laughs> what kind of setup it is. Oh. Yeah. Suck on that. All right, let's keep eye on shocks now. See how he times yeah, shocks versus Tizzy, and this is going to be a big one. Oh, they're flanking him. Oh, hey, he's going to get pinched. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little late reaction, but we've all been there. Yeah. Thinking maybe it was a teammate until... Oh, wait, you guys don't have full mid control? Then... Bada boom. Oh, man. Oh, goes down and shocks. Now, I mean, that's everything. You, you see the moment that kill happens, big start reeling away from tunnels. And even then, God they damn. can't escape the death. Ziwu honing in on them. That's four players up for Team Vitality as they take their 15th. They are very likely going Crazy. to upset on Dust 2. Yeah, yeah. It's so, and so this would bring their win percentage up. You're painting a very bleak picture. See if they can improve on the score before it comes to a close. If it comes to a close just yet. Searson, he throws himself inside of the smoke. He hears all the players cross. Nice scout headshot coming in for a second bit of damage. It's Masuda tag low and Tizian off of the ramp. It's a two versus two with a health advantage here firmly to the favor of Big. And 10 seconds left means Apex has to tuck tail. They've done it. Nice moves by Searson. I mean, once he loses Tabson on those boxes, and considering he's playing with a scout of all things. But I've seen. Oh! Well, that's a tough fragger gone. Oh my god. I thought he was going to do it twice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tizian. Poor guy. Shocked. He's going to. Walk in on this one. He smelled blood in the water. Tizian was caught flopping around with his grenades out. Then we have Tabson trying to make a proactive play from Cap because they're reeling back. They're looking for some sort of a desperate recovery. You see, you, you can you can try your absolute damnedest. You can stabilize map control. You can do everything. But when Z when Zwu's connecting shots, putting up his defenses. And Zantares is going to contribute as well. Now, if Searson walks in, sees Catwalk for free, Zantares also knowing that there's nothing there, suddenly they could turn all of their attention back on Long. And check out the utility. How about some trigger discipline? Oh, baby. He's going to start to round the corner. He makes noise, shoots Apex in the spine. A second as RPK goes down. Masuda turns it down into the clutch. With his entire team having eyes on him, 17 frags to his name. He faces off versus... Turkey's best. A flashbang for Xanteras to maybe try and exit. He was met by a Molotov on Cat, so he redirects through CT spawn, and Masuda's just going to look at his feet. Try and keep things cool. Ooh, and is there anything cooler than that? Pops up, takes his head off, and takes map one. Vitality robbing the choice away from Big. See if Team Vitality can crack it. Keto down to the base of Banana. That didn't work out too well. Hindsight 2020. Tabson. Oh, oh yeah, now he's stuck. He is stuck in a difficult position. No surprise to see him die at the hands of Ziwu. 4v3. To the favor of Vitality. Two defenders for Big still at this A site. And it looks like the Frenchmen are coming in on this. 
Flashbangs go over the side of it. Santeras dies for free. Searson, he hit the headshot through the side of the box. We'll finish off this kill, but three more players is too much to ask of him. Tizian in the clutch. Flash goes high, peaks wide, dies. Team Vitality taking the first pistol. It's a 4K. But one smoke. But Tizian in an awkward position. Drop all his information. Oh, right up close and personal. Keto's going to get bested. What's a wraparound? The bomb's going to try and work its way up A lane, but that's where Searson stops it. So this calls the rotator back over. Ziwu could just sprint, but I don't even know if he's got time to make it to the B site. And his little moment of hesitation there is going to cost him. No, this round's over. He can't get bomb what? to site, even though B is clear. Who called for two players to go up A site? What's going on? Default now instantly in control. Looks like a re-aggression on B, though. Oh, an RPK peaks. No gun out, actually. That's a bit awkward. Back over to the A site. Zantera's committed to the pit. Reacts accordingly to Masuda. Lays down a smoke grenade at his feet. Just needs to stay alive. He's got three teammates coming over. Vitality no, knows that he is in here. Cox isn't off. even coming over. Oh, down he dies. Shox wants to stay committed so that he can catch these players by surprise. They attempt to walk through that smoke, having had thrown one of their own a little bit further forward, but uh, no, it is not safe in between. Smoke sandwich with dead meat right at the center of it all. But it's already the, f the fast B press. Oh my God, they're going to come in right through the smoke. Keto's now stranded. Oh, they got a molly. Yeah. Oh, they don't trade him. Bill takes two. Nicely done. Able to deal with RPK with the headshot. And then, of course, Apex was so incredibly low. So good job by Keto to keep a man advantage rolling here for Vitality. But we are talking about a Ziwu at 11 and 1. He's going to work alongside Masuda. Both. Oh, just saw the back turn. They're just completely exposing themselves to the side of the bomb site. There's a second headshot coming in for Ziwu. Tizian, last man up. He was waiting out the Molotov, but another one pops at his feet, and therefore he has to concede. This is a sixth for the T side. Now the pistol player's at bat. 50 seconds on the clock. Smoke laid down at the top of Banana. That's going to keep Apex occupied. Could stick around. As Bomb moves over towards the A site, Shock's creeping in, crawling closer to the Bomb plant. Zantara is up on balcony, denies it with the 5-7. Good oh multi-kill potential in this position, but he's not ready for that arch wrap around. So even despite his best efforts with two, as Potter said eloquently on the desk, this guy has done everything in his career, all the roles, does most of them pretty damn well. P250 popping off downrange. Apex is dead with one health, of course, to make the difference. But what difference does it really make? This is a seventh round for Vitality in the end. It's a sure. whole new Vitality. Yeah, I mean, even after the first map, I don't question Big's ability to play Dust 2. I just question their ability to stop these T's. But so far, so good here in the 12th. They try to barrel out from Balcony and everybody's turned away. Not a single tidbit of damage has been done versus big here in this round. And that comes as kind of a shock because I've just been sat here being lulled into this kind of false sense of security, thinking Vitality was going to win every damn round. But finally, they put an end to that. What is that? What? <laughs> Seven seconds left over. Oh, this one's not going to bode well for Vitality. They had an opening. They do get the bomb plant, but as said, it's the five versus three, and they had already started to lose significant HP. Zantara's arrives from Banana. It's Masuda in the 1v5 clutch. That's never going to happen. That execute was limp. Well, Searson is no longer at A, so this is objectively the best fight to hit. Three here versus four. Oh, nice, Tizian. Great timing, good lineup, excellent damage output. Zantara's peeking. And RPK sneaking in and close up, but he will be cut down after just the two kills. If it wasn't for RPK, there'd be more survivors, but big doing what they have to. 
Where is that? Z was opping the corner, waiting for someone to go for a, oh, a push out. Oh my god, he could get Coffins. Oh, instead, Coffins gets him. Searson beats out off the corner. Trade comes back finally. Opening round has been so good, so kind to Big. These last few, but now they're going to hit the site together. Tizian's in pair. It's going to work together. Starsky and Hutch. Smoke flash goes out. Tizian, oh my, comes out of the top of it. Here's Danteras back on the pit. Eight seconds to spare. Shocks, he's going to have to run, grab bomb, plant it with no other option. Suddenly, Keto could just come sprinting in from short, but they allow him a moment, just a moment to catch his breath. And maybe that's all he needs. 100 HP on Shocks. He moves forward so that the short lane can't see him yet, but Keto is encroaching. And Shox tries to turn his attention. What if he whips this crosshair to the right? What if he actually closes the clutch? But he won't. A lot of what ifs. But more so important is that Big have found their sixth. Four in a row to close the CT side that looked absolutely dead in the water. And then Big, like, just, like, making the most of a terrible situation than Terrace. Ooh, gets out of dodge. That was close, but Zewu from the back. Knocks down Tabson. Here it is. Three-man apps pop. Into the bomb site. They will hop. RPK executes Keto. Searson's up close. We've got reloads being made, and RPK still maintains. He sustains the A site hold long enough for his support to show up. Like B. It's going to be tough for Searson yeah. to get the scout into the equation on this one. We'll see what he gets done. RPK, promise on the backside. And his Molotov actually just forced Tizzy and right into his crosshair. He was corralling pills before he even knew what was coming. That's a four piece for RPK on the back of the B site. The RPK and Speedway patrolling. It is going to be an A hit. This will be a tough one for the CTs. A chance here for Big. Lays a smoke at his feet as his teammate falls, and Xanteras actually gets the second. So here you go, big. Able to hold on after that initial banana clash, moving it over towards this A site. You know, to be the first one out to get flashed, to get nated, they'll have impact. Oboe's, Oboe's, uh, okay, well, before we get into that. Yeah, yeah. The top banana control gets taken, Apex. Well, they try. Apex has been so good at stopping any aggression on Banana. They trade back with a Molotov, but there's still two players on the CT side here, and the bomb is behind enemy lines. How do they get this back? Apex not wanting them to even get close to it. Uh, you're right, though. He was really good at running down Banana, taking control of it, but he just gets suddenly shot through smoke. Well, they oh. back. They got, he's got help. I mean, yeah, yeah, yo, Tizian's in between them. Holy shocks. He's going to see him, though. Oh, yep. Shocks. He's going to run right into him. Tizian turns his attention back, but there it is the kill. Most crucially, now it's just attention forward here. Zywu so dropping the flashback. That's going to stop the tease for a moment, but they're still contesting for bomb, and that nade gets dunked. They're going to throw some utility back the other way. They escape with bomb. Masuda tries to give chase, and he catches Searson just the tail end of this. But Zantares in a 1v3, this is what magic is made of. He's got 10 seconds to spare here. Ooh, not even really to spare. He needs to plant. Despair now sinking in as he tries to punch the digits. It's canceled. It's denied. Zaiwu with an 18th frag and Vitality 13 rounds. Crossfire setup from Vitality is between Ziwu and Masuda. With an incendiary in hand, it's Masuda with the gun out, and he gets himself two kills, three kills. Oh, the flashbang from Searson blinded his teammates. You saw mm -hmm. them with their arms up. No chance in hell. <laughs> That's what would happen. <laughs> oh, they're coming for him. They know, they know he's not going for this. Oh, man, he's got to fight off a zombie apocalypse. Searson, first shot, then he's still alive. Oh. I had him for one, two. not so much. To hit this Molotov. Oh my God, it's like perfectly timed Molotov. They were literally just about to move. Yeah, clairvoyant RPK on the back of the site, a classic. But uh, Keto kills him. Good deagle work. Apex finding the headshot through the smoke grenade, though. It's a big scalp to take down Zantares. Tizian rounding the arch side. 
just missed the rotate in the suit up, but oh, 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 oh. down goes Shocks. Deagle to the face. Stings and the P250 swings a little bit wider. Traded back by Apex, but Tizian got into position fast enough with that AK. And sure enough, Keto on the bomb site holds. So big have won a round. Ooh, that's going to be a warning sign for Shocks. Yeah, he heard that one tick of fire damage. And then he ticks them back. Shocks going to try and put out that fire, but even though it wasn't burning him, that's a weird. He, he's just trying to make it seem like he's there. Yeah, for sure. But then completely swarmed in the process. So because of that, his teammate on the bomb site doesn't have a helping hand. And we've got big with two swift entries. Let's see if the retake can come in from Vitality. Tito, he's laying down the grenades that he had, but that's it. A final smoke thrown. RPK looking to emerge from the apartments and he gets that quick trade frag. He has utility and then some. Molotov out first, tries to fight back. Saikido bests him with a double headshot and three kills in the round. Shock's repositions, now two CTs on site. Right. Oh my God, look, just as he's moving past these positions, they're getting cleared and RPK on the top of Nubox. They may not know that Shocks is here. No, sir, they walk right into it. Pearson will answer back with something and it leaves Tabson to try and clutch in a one versus four. He sees the player on a pistol. That's all they have, these other players, pistols. I mean, Team Vitality stacking in the right position and getting away with the kills, but it's not the round, not yet. Tabson's going to go ahead and plant bomb. He's going to get rushed up by Apex. Oh, but he had a chance. Masuda able to swing out with Apex, pressuring the bomb carrier, mitigating the fact that they didn't have guns, those two. Okay, big. This is like the round that Vitality set up where they went for the two lane. Two <laughs> yeah, I was thinking bomb that. on lane. Okay, this is how it's supposed to look. <laughs> right. right, an arch play instead. Masuda, can oh. he stop this? I mean, technically, he doesn't need to stop it. He just needs to slow it down. And he gets one at least 20 seconds in the round. RPK, perfect timing. Zaiwu as well, dealing with the second A player, puts it all on Searson. And ladies and gents, just like that, a 16th round added to the board for Vitality. The 2-2 split from Big falls short. And the 2-0 for Vitality, as nobody's eliminated. But we do have the Frenchman moving forward in the upper bracket.